there. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being here today. Uh, today I'm going to talk about what can you do with spots. And uh, there's a big range of spots. So it could be the cloasma. It could be an uh, age spot from aging. It could be inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So that's what I'm going to talk about today because there is the positive and the negative, the natural way and the quick way. So there's all different ways. So stay tuned until the end because I got lots of stuff to give you. So let's get started right now. Before I get started, I want to thank all my subscribers and people that have been there for me and giving me comments and questions. Amazing. For the people that have not seen me before, but you just popped by, thank you so much for being here. Um, my tutorials are, are educational on skincare, health, and wellness. So another thing that I want to mention is that if you have not seen the topics that I have talked about, nutrigenomics, uh, biohacking, free radical damage, oxidative stress. If these are words that you haven't heard before, I do have a, a live webinar recording right below that I will explain everything about this. Why do I want to talk about it? Because free radical damage is huge, huge in, in, in our lives. And how are we able to neutralize the oxidative stress? How does it show, this oxidative stress, how does it show? In many ways. And one simple way are age spots, uh, tiredness, uh, depression, and different immune disorders and diseases. So I'm gonna talk about now about age spots, but if you want to know more, please click below, look at it. And if you want more information, you are very welcome to request it. I do have a lot of notes and a lot of people will reach me in Instagram. And because it's a little bit more um, uh, private, you can send me your email and I will send you all my notes. So let's get started right now. This is a very serious subject for a lot of people. For some people say, well, what's the, what's the problem? It's no big deal. But when we get age spots, cloasma, uh, inflammatory hyperpigmentation, or whatever you're getting. It is a serious thing. And I know that for a lot of people will cause a um, self-confidence to dissipate. And uh, so a lot of times you are going to search for things and putting potion and whatever on your face and going to get things done professionally and then these spots come back or these spots don't uh, go away or it's getting worse. So the first thing I want to talk about is about living living with these age spots. What happened? Well, if you have age spots and you don't take care of them, they do get bigger and they do get darker. And so you do have to protect them and by not going into the sun and we're going to talk a little bit more about that. But also, especially age spots uh, are, are toxins coming out of your body. So we need to pinpoint, pinpoint on what is that you have done. Now, you might say, no, I haven't done anything. Well, there's also other things. It could be that uh, who are the people that get it more than others? People that are over 40. So most likely I should be getting, but I, I don't, I, okay? Um, and, and my skin, and I don't wear any makeup, except for, for the people that know me, uh, I, I am Italian, so I do get dark circles, so I do put a little bit of concealer on under my eyes because they do sometimes show the dark <laughs> under my eyes, but that's hereditary. Um, a person that has a fair skin most likely will get age spots and freckles. Uh, my mother-in-law used to be Irish and that she had freckles everywhere. And she would say to me, oh my goodness, a good thing that I have freckles because you can't tell which ones are freckles and which ones are age spots. But I, <laughs> I could tell which ones were which ones. Um, also people that have a history of being in the sun cooking themselves. Stay in the sun, in the sun, and that is very, uh, very bad. Or individuals that are, they love sun tanning booths, and those also will cause the UV rays of the bed or of the sun stimulate the melanocytes and in turn, in the skin, and in turn, these melanocytes will produce 
additional melanin and usually it's not very even it's usually bunched up and that's why we call them age spots some people call them liver spots and uh, so right now I'm gonna talk more a little bit about the um, different things you can do from home and um, which some of them I don't agree with some things that you can do by going to a professional or to a medical doctor and some things that I like the best the natural way of preventing and reducing mm -hmm. this segment now is going to be divided into three groups and uh, the first group are things that you can do being very careful things that you can buy over the counter then I have a segment of uh, you, to get help from a dermatologist medical esthetician and the last one is about what you can do naturally to prevent so the first thing I want to say when not only if you're getting H spots, cloasma and all that stuff and the, one of the things that I've had a lot of questions asked to me from Maria this inflammatory hyperpigmentation so I'm going to put them all in the same group even though they come from different areas so you say what do you mean okay H spots is uh, as the word says it's uh, liver spots H spots is from aging but uh, that has happened because you have done something okay too much sun or eating too much garbage uh, one or the other uh, cloasma or melasma or pregnancy mask it is because you got pregnant uh, you have or you have a hormonal imbalance and so you have to look after it of course okay and uh, the uh, hyperpigmentation the inflammatory hyperpigmentation is because there is a pimple there or a nodule there there's extra blood and, uh, and you maybe picked at it causing inflammation and then of course more hyperpigmentation so it, it doesn't really matter which ones you are which category we have to look at them the same so the first thing I, I always say you must apply some form of a sunscreen now there's different kinds of sunscreens you can have blocks and you can have chemicals uh, the chemicals again uh, and of course a lot of people will disagree with me but uh, some people will have a, like a SPF 70 the more chemicals the worse is for your skin and uh, it's more carcinogenic so if you have to do a sunscreen then uh, no more than 15 SPF and you will have to use it more frequently because higher again higher the SPF the more chemicals and more chemicals the, the worse is for you so blocks sometimes are better uh, but the one that I prefer the most is the mineral makeup because mineral makeup and I will have a link below uh, the one that I prefer uh, it's um, it is natural the mineral makeup is natural and it gives you a nice evenness without uh, causing any chemical uh, absorption into your skin okay number two exfoliators uh, there is uh, the uh, uh, the chemical exfoliators like the AHAs and BHAs and also there's the physical exfoliators so the AHAs BHAs please do not use them both if you have aged skin it's AHAs if you have more on the oily side is the BHAs to put them both together you don't have both at the same time unless unless you are aging and oily so be very careful which products that you're using they do work but when you wear use them you must have some form of protection and the form of protection is a, either a hat a visor sunglasses and of course a mineral makeup remember for me it's a, always a mineral makeup the physical exfoliator are, exfoliators are more like scrubs and uh, so be very gentle because if you irritate them then you're gonna cause a, um, vasodilation means a, like a blood stimulation you're gonna cause more problems are we okay up to now okay when you do these exfoliators doesn't matter if they're chemical or uh, um, more of the mechanical always steam your skin and you say okay well you can steam your face over a pot 
okay very careful don't be too hot okay because you're opening the pores and uh, well there's not very many we're opening closing the pores is more uh, softening the pores but most people understand opening and closing but it's softening so you steam your skin you do these uh, nice gentle uh, scrubs whatever you choose to use gently please and then after uh, you can might want to uh, uh, clean the pores a little bit more if you wish to do extra uh, work in the area that you have uh, blackheads and uh, and then maybe afterwards you want to use uh, uh, a mask to soothe uh, a soothing mask okay? uh, so but if you want a very good pretty good little uh, unit a steamer I do have a little link uh, below the next one that I don't really care very much about and a lot of people will use it are uh, retinoids uh, the retin-a or the renova there's a different kinds and uh, these were mainly uh, it, what it does increases the, the uh, cellular turnover but what is happening a lot of people that are overusing them it's a basically like a peel and so then your skin is tight and I can tell from the individuals that are using the retinoids the retina and all that that their skin looks a little bit too plastic tight they say oh there I don't have no wrinkles yes because the retinoids have peeled your skin and your skin is very thin if you decide to have these type of products then please 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 after you apply it whatever you want to apply them you must apply a some form of protection sunscreen or mineral makeup the next I totally don't agree with it at all um, it is banned in uh, Europe uh, in Canada it is uh, qualified as a very toxic but it is still on the market especially in the United States and I think here in Canada too uh, the uh, two percent hydroquinone uh, medically doctors can give you I think four percent but it is so the four percent is prescribed by a dermatologist but it is um, carcinogenic not good for your skin and basically what it does it inhibits uh, the production so it inhibits the little melanocytes remember I talked about the melanocytes it inhibits the melanocytes to stop to produce melanin so the color so you might say well Maria so that is a good idea yeah but uh, you really need to do like a spot you just put it on the, the spot but a lot of times what it does it not only lightens the spots but lightens around the spot so you have all this on uneven coloration of your skin so by the FDA it does say I'm gonna read this that it is a bleaching agent and in South Africa it says here it's expected it's a, a toxic and very harmful and also has a high risk of cancer so please if you decide to use hydroquinone uh, with retin-a a lot of people they'll mix them together whatever you have to be very careful and uh, you do have to apply sunblock sunscreen mineral makeup hat glasses before you go outside hmm, so guess that maybe you do not want to do all this um, cream application and uh, you're saying no 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 I'm gonna go to the professional so there's two level of professional one is like the surgeon or dermatologist and the other one is the esthetician and medical esthetician so which way do you want to go so let's talk about the uh, more of the medical uh, doctor one of the things that they do is um, uh, dermabrasion so basically what they're using they're going to of course put products whatever numb the area they might give you in a twilight uh, um, feeling so you don't feel all the pain and that they're going to be using a rapid uh, bristle brush to remove the surface of the skin and of course after that it's going to be the redness swelling scabbing they're going to give you antibiotics uh, then after the scabs uh, uh, come off okay again scabs could be one or two weeks 
uh, you will have this pink skin and the pinkness will take months before it goes away and you must 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 protect your skin more than ever right? and then the skin will look a little bit kind of tight almost like a, a dull plasticky um, again uh, there is a uh, good doctors and doctors that are not so good so you have to get uh, their referrals the next one is uh, some people will have uh, chemical peels and again it's a solution that a dermatologist uh, surgeon will apply uh, this solution is, is corrosive they keep it on for so long then it takes off new skin comes out uh, okay just a minute uh, there's gonna be some swellings sometimes maybe some infections they will give you antibiotics uh, scabs come off and then you'll have this pinky looking skin sometimes lighter or darker than your actual skin so those are some of the contraindication um, doctors also might use uh, freezing called a cryotherapy just on the specific age spot uh, that is another way of doing it so basically they're kind of freezing off uh, that age spot it will come off and then of course you have to overly protect so these are the three now let's look at uh, uh, what uh, a medical esthetician or esthetician will do for you I would like to discuss a little bit about the medical esthetician and what she can do uh, one of the treatments that she can do is microdermabrasion and it is not as aggressive as dermabrasion uh, basically she will be using a machine that will blast or peel uh, the skin okay? she might concentrate on the age spot or she will do the whole face there's different types of microdermabrasion uh, there is uh, the the one that I prefer is uh, uh, the one with crystals there is the diamond there is the water and there's also oxygen there's uh, several of them the one that I really feel that works the best is uh, the crystal it's a little bit more messy but that's my opinion uh, the other ones I don't see that there's much result uh, there's a little bit of uh, uh, stimulation but it's not as effective as uh, the uh, crystal but what's happening because it feels good one time and your skin feels nice and smooth a lot of uh, uh, clients will request to get that dermabrasion over microdermabrasion over and over and over and what you're doing you're just peeling your skin and but it's not really affecting the melanocytes which are underneath so you're just lightening a little bit and so it's very very temporary also these uh, microdermabrasions must be done uh, in the winter or not when it's very sunny so people in, that live in a very sunny parts of the world you have to be very careful to protect your face uh, continuously after you do the microdermabrasion so you, you do get uh, a nice smooth e effect but if you overdo it you're just thinning out the skin and cause uh, more problems so be very careful uh, the next one that I want to talk about because a lot of people will use is the laser and so basically the laser is a light beam and it causes heat in that area and uh, reduces or destroys the uh, melanocytes that are producing the melanin and of course there's different kinds of lasers so you do need to do your research uh, it does lighten the uh, the age spot but again it is temporary like anything else and the price tag is pretty high in comparison to uh, other uh, microdermabrasion um, sorry dermabrasion and all this stuff which I don't want to do dermabrasion or chemical peels the peels off my skin totally mm. so the cons of the laser that a lot of times is not mentioned is that you might get if you have dormant herpes uh, virus it will reactivate so you might have an outbreak of herpes especially if you have around your face be very careful and this is a list of things that I would like to uh, uh, read every single one of them so some of the risks risks of laser it doesn't matter which kind of laser that you use uh, bruising swelling redness tightness scarring infection and the changes of skin texture and coloring so am i want to do the laser no mm -mm. let's talk about now 
some of the natural things that I prefer. So this is my last segment. And uh, I hope that you're still here with me, that you're enjoying. Uh, it, it means a world to me that you're here still. Uh, remember to subscribe because by subscribing, you are helping me to grow, but also help other people. So I'm able to reach other people. So it means a lot. I, I can't even say how much it means. It means a lot to me. So now let's look at the natural uh, selection or the natural solutions. For the people that have been following me, you know exactly how I think. It takes commitment. So I prefer to do exercising every night and you can see some of my tutorials. So if you look over here, look at some of my, my tutorial, uh, it has nothing to do with age spots, but, and, uh, it, and I exercise my muscles and because I don't wanna go and get plastic surgery. I massage my nasal labial fold. You can look at it. Because I do not want to start uh, getting pinned up. I don't want any um, collagen injections. And even on my lips, I massage my lips. I use motor points. There's all different things that I do to prevent for me to go and get up. I want to really grow uh, old gracefully, that I don't look like a mannequin. So just look at some of those uh, tutorials. Uh, natural solutions are such as um, uh, vitamin C, uh, pomegranate uh, um, extract, beta extract, extracts, uh, licorice. Uh, those are all different ingredients that you want to see in your product because these are natural bleaching. But now, if you're allergic to, um, let's say, licorice, then don't buy the product because even natural ingredients may cause allergy reactions like anything else. Uh, so use those products, use the AHAs and BHAs with being very careful that you do not overdo it. Uh, another thing that I find that is very, uh, uh, very, very good is apple cider vinegar. And I do have a little tutorial up here that, uh, that you, how to co combine it. But basically in a little bottle, you put 50% water, 50% uh, apple cider vinegar, but the apple cider vinegar has to be with mother. So when you read on the bottle that it says organic and has the mother, with the mother. And uh, what it does, the apple cider vinegar, actually it reduces the age spots. It's not gonna happen overnight. It takes commitment, consistency, and commitment. And it's so, so cheap. So why not do it? For the people that have uh, hyperpigmentation uh, inflammation or inflammatory hyperpigmentation, this works really well. But you might have some popules and pustules, so you might want to do some high frequency. And I have a link below of a really good little uh, machine, not too expensive from Amazon, but I also have a link up here that explains exactly how you do it because if you overdo it, you will cause, again, hyperpigmentation. So you have to be very careful. So again, apple cider vinegar is amazing. Not only on the outside, even if you take it internally, it's great. And uh, so, yeah, do that. The next uh, concoction, um, it's, uh, I've seen it work, but again, takes commitment. It is a mixture of uh, turmeric, uh, cinnamon, honey, tea tree oil, few drops of tea tree oil. And if you're allergic to tea tree, you can use the maluka oil, aloe vera juice, or gel, sorry. You mix it all together. Now, be very careful that uh, the turmeric stains everything, so don't wear anything white, maybe black. And uh, you apply, it, wear gloves or uh, a, um, a mask, mask brush. Okay, apply it, leave it on for 15, 20 minutes, wash it off, and uh, be very careful that uh, you don't want to stain everything, so be very careful. And you might want to do it uh, two or three times and then uh, keep it up once a week. Again, takes commitment. Once you do this, you always, when you go outside, you have to protect your skin and uh, you know, mineral makeup. So I'm going to leave the last the best for last okay 
I am keeping the best for last and is talking about the True Science Skincare. The True Science Skincare has a technology called NRF2 technology and uh, it reduces the oxidative stress in the skin 40% in 30 days. It is a patent and what it does, it rejuvenates, uh, reduces the, the age spots, that's what we're talking about, the age spots and the, the fine lines. And of course, your diet is also very important. So that's why they have it also for internally. When I heard that there is something out there that reduces the oxidative stress caused by free radical damage 40% in 30 days, I had to have it. I needed to know what it is. So there is a link below. I have a lot of little videos that you can look at so you can do your research. However, this is not everywhere. Now, when we're talking about oxidative stress, age spots is oxidative stress. We want to remove that oxidative stress. Yes. So, but as I mentioned, it's not all over the place. You cannot find it everywhere. Um, you can find it in a certain country in Asia, certain country in Europe, and of course in North America. In Asia, you can find it in uh, China, Hong Kong, Japan, Thailand, uh, Thai Taiwan, in the Caribbean, you can find it in the Dominican Republic. In Europe, we can find it in uh, Belgium, Austria, uh, Germany, Spain, France, Ireland, Italy, Netherlands, and the UK. In uh, North America, we can find it in Canada, hey, Canada, uh, Mexico, United States, uh, and uh, down and under is uh, in Australia and New Zealand. I hope that very in the near future will be all over the world because everybody has the right to have this product. So I'm very excited for my next tutorial, but until then, take care, keep safe, and I will talk with you very, very soon.